Sources. These can be a very difficult subject and in this video I want to show you how to find the absolute best sources for your body and for your money. I'm a massive, massive, massive fan of Frank's Red Hot Original. This sauce is absolutely amazing. It's great on absolutely everything. It's just fermented chilies, garlic powder, salt, spirit vinegar, very simple ingredients, a great product and I would definitely buy this in the wholesale canister for around £20 for 4.5 litres rather than the £1.45 here at Tesco for the small bottle. Instead of soy sauce I would go for tamari it's gluten free it's aged in barrels usually so basically it's a soy sauce what has been aged it has no sugar which makes it better than soy sauce in my opinion because you don't get that extra added sugar and it's absolutely great in stir fries great in Chinese or Oriental or Asian cooking I would definitely get tamari over regular soy sauce because even light soy sauce is just light in color this sauce is very similar to Frank's but it's £2.75 for a small bottle so it's not the most affordable and not everyone can afford this but it's using barrel aged red jalapenos, white grape vinegar, salt and garlic. It's a very clean product but it's very expensive. I know some people can't afford this but if you want that jalapeno flavour this is a great sauce and a very good option. When buying tomato ketchup one of the most affordable condiments I would go for the no added sugar and salt version. This is because you get nearly 20 grams less sugar sugar in this for example the full sugar version has 22.8 grams of sugar compared to the no sugar no salt version has 4.4 grams of naturally occurring sugars now overall you choose what you want guys and it may have artificial sweeteners in the less um, sugary version but this does not mean it's a bad product because these sucralose and artificial sweeteners are actually proven to be perfectly safe if you look at people like Dr. Id's food science babe these are the people you should be listening to not some of these other charlatans which I also fell for on the internet as before with the tomato ketchup I would definitely go for the lightest version of mayonnaise which is 60% less fat now what that means is per 100 grams you're getting 26 grams of fat compared to full fat mayonnaise you're getting 70 grams of fat per 100 grams it's almost three quarters fat therefore you're getting so much fat in that I would rather use the fat somewhere else or have the fat somewhere else sorry in my diet so I would always go for the lightest version when buying mayonnaise good old classic Tabasco sauce who doesn't love it it's just the most simple ingredients just distilled vinegar red pepper and salt this is an excellent sauce and one I have in my diet an awful lot and I think you should too if you if you've made it this far please like subscribe and share if you haven't already to make the channel grow i appreciate all your support i know i haven't posted in a while i've been through quite a lot but i'm back on it now and i want to do more than ever so thank you for your support and keep the channel growing thank you very much